This is Andrew from Lee Barking Pro, and I am here with Mark Harbert. This is so, actually yeah. the first time we've had an opportunity to chat on yeah. camera, so I Absolutely. appreciate this. Yeah. Now, if I could distill what you just said from stage, it was essentially yeah. that you can build a community with what you have in your pants. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And by that, I mean your phone. phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, absolutely. So, um, I don't know about you, but I'm terrified of being on video, right? I mean, it's, it's very intimidating. Yeah. Um, how do you kind of encourage folks and walk people through the process yeah. of kind of getting over that fear and, and, and that barrier and, and all of that? Yeah. Right? Well, first, it, it comes down to recognizing why you're afraid. And it always comes down to recognition of that. So the, the main things that hold people back is they're afraid of what others will think. They're afraid of how they look. They're afraid they might sound stupid. And those are the main really things that people get. So if you recognize that and understand that uh, when you break through those, when you understand that the people who view it are, you may get people that are critical. I tell a lot of my students, expect the negative comments. Mm. You will get them. But the positive comments will always outweigh the negative. So I try to inoculate my students the best way. The first thing I tell them is first, make the very first video. That's the most important one that you need to make because once you do it, I don't care if it's 30 seconds long and you don't show it to anybody, but it's just for you the liberation you're gonna feel is like, wow, I did it. Now you go do like five more, and by the fifth or sixth one, you're totally over it. It's like you realize it's not that big of a deal. Mm. But the biggest thing is also, and I didn't mention this on stage, but it's important that you realize that you will get some negative comments. If you get them and you expect them when they come, it's not gonna affect you. Because yep. you're just, you're expecting it, you know it'll be there, and man, if I could tell you over the years how many negative comments I got, and just brutal comments. But they bounce off me. I don't even, they don't even affect me anymore. You know, you just become very tough skin about it. So. Yeah, yeah, it's so true. I mean, I can remember when I was first getting started, whether it was, you know, an email, a blog yeah. post, video, whatever. I mean, you're just like, you put it out there and you just expect yeah. tomatoes. But I yeah. mean, you get so many positive comments oh, and encouragement and then it, it just totally outweighs yeah. all the negative stuff. And, but it's funny, and it, just to point out that the, in society, we're kind of trained to focus on the negative, but when you train your mind to look at the positive, the overwhelming positive far outweighs the little bit of negative you might get. So when people understand that, it's very easy to go over the fear, and that's, mm. that's why it's important. I love that, I love it. So let's talk a little bit about your strategy. So, yeah. you know, you obviously you've used uh, video extensively yeah. in your business, and you've used YouTube, you've used yeah. Facebook. Tell folks a little bit about what's working you know, right now for you yeah. in terms of video. So um, number one, I still have videos out there I made four years ago that bring in leads for me every day. I mean, I probably, just on average from old videos, get anywhere from you know, five to 15 leads a day, still from videos. So I'll put videos out there on YouTube, um, uh, but what, what is really like working for me right now that I'm heavily focused on is I am focused on building a community around my Facebook page. You know, um, I still heavily do, you know, YouTube, um, and you know that's a big thing for me. But I am always trying to get people into my community because I want to build that community of people that trust me. That when I say, "Hey, this is a good thing, you want to go get it," people just don't even think twice; they go get it because, you know, they trust me. So for me, I'm highly focused on that community more than necessarily saying, "Hey, I'm generating 50, 60 leads a day," which any I, I can go do that, and I do that. But I'm more focused on, I want people engaged and, and locked into me. If they're locked into me, you can make a multiple six-figure income doing that. I know, because I've done it. Yeah, you know? yeah. So. On that note of community, you, one thing that you mentioned was how powerful specifically video is yeah. for cultivating community. I wonder yeah. if you could share a few thoughts on that. Yeah, so um, one of the things that I was sharing that is very important is video gives people a little window into your life. and. Um, you know, that's why reality TV is so big. People just love to watch other people. You know, they'll sit there and watch other people like you know, for hours. And when you can create a little video that gives them a little window in, just do fun things. It doesn't always have to be like business. Um, you know, uh, one time I did a video with my wife. You know, I sat down and we talked for like 10 minutes in a video. I did no fancy editing, none. I turned it on and said, hey, I got my wife here today, special guest, you know. 
and brought her on and she talked about what it meant to be a supportive spouse. That video went viral. People were sharing it like crazy. People loved it because it really spoke to a big need that a lot of people had. You know, so video allows you to really communicate your message in such an effective way and it doesn't need to be sales pitchy. It mm. doesn't need to be anything. It just, I think the best way to come is just from the heart. Mm. Tell your story, you know, um, keep it upbeat, keep it positive, paint a vision for people of what they can accomplish, but really just come from a place of authentic and that's how they'll get to see you. You know, the authentic nature of video, um, you know, people can read it if you're not being authentic. So if you can do that, but it just creates a bond like no other. You have to do video in today's marketplace. It's, it's not, if you want to build a home business, I mean, it's, I'm just saying, you know, that's just for me, but you know. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Man. It's funny, I've heard from multiple video marketers that often the videos that perform the best yeah. are not necessarily even ones where they're you know they're scripted they're yeah. they're trying to go out of their way to deliver a yeah. tremendous amount of value it's 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 often off the cuff it's yeah. very lifestyle oriented yes. sometimes very spur of the moment yes. and, and those tend to just yeah just they kill do. it they they absolutely kill it you know i mean i have people that uh um i've actually <laughs> watched people they've taken some of my videos and they've scripted them they have them transcribed and mm. then they're literally reading the same thing I'm <laughs> and i'm like no you're you're missing the point you don't want to do that because it's important, and I'm not against scripts, but I'm against reading them word for word. Mm -hmm. There might be cases where you're gonna do videos like that for maybe you're doing a launch or you're doing something where you wanna use a teleprompter, all that's cool. But for the everyday communication connection videos, it should just be real, off the cuff. Um, I don't do a lot of editing. Uh, my goal is to keep it simple and just communicate my lifestyle and connect with people. And that has just served me really well. That's you know? awesome. And, so yeah, there's a time for everything, you know, that's the way it is. <laughs> One of the things that I, I really like that you were mentioning, and it just so happens that, you know, we're here of course at No Excuses 7, mm -hmm. and we brought some fancy equipment with us, right? Yeah. We had a nice, you know, DLSR camera with an excellent lens on it. I mean, you know, we came prepared, but we didn't have the, the, the proper kind of microphone. Yeah. So we're kind of using our backup, yeah. which is a phone. Right. And you yeah. know, it's, it's, it's gonna be fine. You know, it's yeah. gonna create, you know, uh, an excellent quality of video, you know, right. and it's, it's going to be good enough. And that's something you mentioned yeah. is yeah. just the importance of keeping things simple. Yeah. And even though you know yep. how to create a much fancier yeah. visual do it. experience, it. but yeah. that's just not what it's all about. You know, I, I've actually watched some marketers and they get really fancy in their videos and immediately you're just killing it. You're, you're killing your audience because immediately they're like, oh man, I can't do that. Mm. You know, and I purposely like do not have a lot of video equipment. You know, and I'm like a video marketer, that's my thing, you know, but I just purposely don't buy all that because I don't want somebody saying, you know, oh, I gotta go buy that too. I gotta spend $4,000 on amazing equipment to make the most badass videos. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. I just want people to be able to, I mean, your cameras nowadays, like, you know, I have the iPhone 6. I mean, it's 1080p, that's super HD. I mean, that's, you know, that's amazing quality. Mm -hmm. You can't get much better than that. I mean, you don't need to, have the expensive DSLR. There are times for that, like I've said, you know, when you're doing events like this, you want good quality stuff, you know? Uh, so yeah, keeping it simple. Nice. Yeah. So let's talk, and, and along that same train of thought, keeping it simple, also keeping it just really short. I yeah. mean, we're not talking necessarily about creating epic right. length videos. You shared kind of a 60 yeah. second strategy. You wanna yeah. talk about that for a second? Yeah, so on my fan page, uh, what I do is, um, not every day, but I try to post one every day uh, where I, I do a thing called 60 second mentoring. And so what I do is I'll whip out my phone and I'll just share a principle, a mindset hack, a marketing trick, uh, a little something somebody never thought of before, but it's very quick, easily digestible, and I always follow a four part formula. And that four part formula is introduce myself. Hey, my name is Mark Harbor from markharbor.com. I say that like in my sleep, my daughter walks around the house saying that, hey, this is Mark Harbor from markharbor.com. And you know, she, she just like a little parrot, you know? Cause I say that like off, the top of my head all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I ask a question, are you struggling with this? Are you finding you're not getting the results you want here? Well, have you ever thought about this? And then I just share like a little, you know, 30 second tip, 45 second tip. And then at the end, I give a call to action. If you wanna learn more about me, check out my blog at markharbor.com or click the link in the description. I've got some cool freebies over there you can check out. I've got a video marketing cheat sheet if you wanna learn how to get leads using video. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I do it like all the time and it just works. It's easy, simple, and it just, I don't know, man. I mean, 
I don't want to make it complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I love that. And I mean, I think yeah. even even if video, which for a lot of folks it is intimidating, but I think 60 seconds, like I, I feel like probably anyone with that simple structure yeah, yeah. can cut a 60 second video. You know, maybe we'll be on the first try, but I, I think that that's very yeah. doable. Well, and you know, the, when one of the things that I, I tried to share up there too is, I mean, you really don't need a massive group of people to make a six figure income. I mean, you really don't. I mean, you think about it, if you had 50 to 100 people that just absolutely adored you and they buy everything you, you suggest, I mean, my gosh, you send out an email, you know, for a, a, you know, one example, like with my audience, I found a really cool piece of software. I was like, you know what? My audience would love this. It's high value. So I ended up, you know, shooting it out to my list and I'm, I think two or three emails and got like 130 sales on it. And it was like, a, I think a $37 product. I made 18 buck commission. So I must have sold, I it was easily 130 of them. But mm -hmm. it was like my audience has just tapped in. You know, mm -hmm. they love that. Mm -hmm. So if you make it and it's in line with what they're looking to do, that's what it's all about. Trust and you build that authority with people and you do that through videos. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So just in case anyone is, you know, at this point, they're still on the fence, kind of give folks a kind of a big picture of like what's possible, what you have achieved yeah. and created through video in your business. I mean, it's the reason I'm here today. You know, I mean, it's uh, it's the reason um, I've had so many people come up to me and here at this event too, and some people say, oh man, I just love watching your videos. You know, you just, I don't know, it's just so real. It, you know, you're so good at it. And I'm like, I'm just being me, you know? Mm -hmm. I have literally no fear about getting on the camera. It's just gone. There's nothing now. I've done mm -hmm. it so many times. I do it daily and I've done it for years like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm just, the more you do it, the better you get, the more confident you get. And that really has an impact in the marketplace because people really want to follow leaders. They want to follow people that are confident, that are going in a direction they want to go. And if you can show that and really showcase that in your videos, uh, people will follow you. You'll start to build up that audience. It takes time. I'm not going to, I mean, you know, it's not like it happens overnight, but I, you can easily do it very quickly if you just do consistently for 30 days. Yeah. You yeah. Know, that's, that's the thing. People can build an audience in 30 days if they want. Yeah. You know? That's awesome. All through the power of video. Well, sir, yeah. we really appreciate you. Yeah, man. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me out. Chat. Your community awesome. is awesome.